Howdy, your tube. Well, howdy, your tube. Well, today I wanted to do a quick vid on covering one particular item in this event called Mandela Effect. Now I'm not going to go into every possible example there is. There's a lot out there. So I'm not going to cover all that. Most of you are already familiar and people are finding new stuff every day. But like I said, it's just one item I want to address. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I heard a noise downstairs in my basement. There's the 10 year old going outside, probably. Uh, blah, where was I? Oh, there's one item that I did want to discuss. And it is the idea that. You know, you've been, well, I don't know. you've been hearing this term, old earthers, newcomers, what have you. And a lot of the individuals, including myself, that remember things the old way, they've been calling us from <laughs> the old earth. Now... The item is with regard to they saying some are saying that the earth has moved its position in this so-called Milky Way galaxy that we're supposed to be in. And I kind of scratch my head on that. I'm I'm going to have to say for the record, for my record, my opinion, that is not a Mandela effect and I don't think it is even true. Reasons why. But first let me read something for you. This comes from astronomytrek.com In fact, let me show it to you so you can see I am pulling up some information. Now, if you notice, I'm just going to pull out one thing. It says, our sun is located between Sagittarius arm and the Perseus arm of the Milky Way galaxy in a minor area called the Orion spiral arm, so named for its proximity to the stars in the Orion constellation. Okay, you got that so far? Now, let me read another one. This comes from coolcosmos.ipac.caltech.edu. Now, let's go check this one out. Now, I want to bring your attention to the passage about halfway down. The Earth is located in one of the spiral arms of the Milky Way galaxy called the Orion Arm, which is about two-thirds the way out from the center of the galaxy. Now I'm just going to just show those two and read those two, if you've read them. Hope you had time to read it. If not, just pause it and check it out for yourself. Now, in my quest to unravel this particular mystery, the predominant term I've been coming up with, they call it the Orion Spur. Now, I'm going to show you some pictures as to why I think Spur is more accurate and it's not really an arm of this so-called Milky Way galaxy. 
Now, before I start showing these pictures, I want to say, if the Earth has moved to a new position, those of us they call the old Earthers, we're familiar with a particular group of constellations. We're particular. We're familiar with the Northern Star, which is always in the same place, never moves. If the Earth moved its position in space to a new position, then why are the star patterns still the same? Huh? Our sky should be completely different if the Earth, be it round or flat, has moved. Our sky should be different. You notice you haven't seen anybody on YouTube mention that. It's just like, oh, we've moved. We were taught we were in the Sagittarius arm. Now we're in the Orion arm. Uh, no, people. This is not a Mandela anything. Now, the pictures I want to show you. Now, uh, where to put them? La di di, la di da. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you three pictures. But I want you to pay particular attention to the first one. Or is it the second one? Hold on a second. I'm doing this on the fly, so I haven't edited my video yet to put it up. I'm going to do that after I do this. Uh, okay. Yeah. The first picture that I put up, I want you to pay particular attention to where the Sagittarius arm comes out from the center, wraps all the way around, and right beside the Sagittarius arm, you have the Perseus arm. Now, if you notice down towards the bottom of the picture, you'll see where it says Sun and Orion Spur. Notice that that spur comes off of the Sagittarius arm. It has no starting point, which means it logically isn't a complete arm of the Milky Way galaxy. It's an offshoot of the Sagittarius arm. With me so far? But being that Sag Sagittarius arm is the most predominant, I think that's what we were taught in school. We're part of the Sagittarius arm because that first picture I have up shows you that the Orion Spur comes off of the Sagittarius arm. With me there? Now the next picture I'm going to show is a closer up view of that. And you'll see off on the right of the picture where you've got the Sagittarius arm, then it splits. Then you get the Orion Spur. Nonetheless, we're still a part of the Sagittarius arm. We're just on an offshoot of it. Like having a six finger, you know, I just threw that in for the kicks, the Nephilim, having a six finger just an offshoot. The next photo is just another view which shows the Sagittarius arm, Perseus arm, and we're like right in the middle on this spur called the Orion Spur. So for all intents and purposes, I think we are still in the same position B our home flat or round. We haven't moved. Case in point, if we have moved, the sky should be different. It's not different. 
It's been the same for thousands and thousands of recorded history years. There is no Mandela anything associated with that. Sorry, folks. There are a lot of Mandela effects out there. Something I've noticed, it makes me go, wow, that's a trip. But this one, no. Not everything is a Mandela effect. Some of them do have rational explanations, and some of them don't. I kind of like the ones that don't. It's, just, it's really like mystifying. It's like, what the hell is going on? And there's been a lot of different explanations as to what is causing this Mandela effect. I'm not going to go into that because some of them are out there. But I'll just briefly, some you hear it's with regard to CERN. If you listen to other, and I forget the individual's name on YouTube, but he says it has to do with some alien EBE from some star system that just happens to be shaped like the Mason Square. You've got the little edge at the bottom. You've heard I've heard that one. I've heard this is a glitch in the matrix. I've heard we're light beings standing on a big checkerboard and we're creating this reality. All of us out there. Quite frankly, I don't care what's causing it. I really don't. I'm just enjoying that there is something going on. Keeps you sharp. Keeps you on your toes. So, anyway, feel free to comment. Keep your comments sociable. You know, no name calling, all that garbage. You know, I'm because I'll delete that my that garbage. Come into the conversation with your comments, with some common sense. Be social, because because everyone has an opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But let me know what you think, what you feel, what you believe. Again, to restate before I close, I do not believe that we have moved our position in this so-called outer space, in this so-called Milky Way galaxy, because the star patterns tell the story we have not moved okay but you check it out for yourself do your own research like I always say come to your own conclusion till next time